Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your February mid-monthly reading. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always coming back. It means a lot. Uh, I'll save the messages or the announcements for the end. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera, but I give the cards a quick shuffle and then we get started. Thank you for the messages for Gemini. Gemini men and women, single and partnered Gemini. All right. Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign that's not giving you the attention, the love that you desire. You may have cut them out, had harsh words with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Nine of Wands, our Wounded Warrior, Knight of Pentacles. Someone's been through a lot in past relationships, but wants to offer something solid. Is waiting for the opportunity. What did I say? Then Temperance comes out. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't read reversals. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're waiting for the... Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting for an opportunity to offer something stable, solid. Engagement, moving in together, marriage to, let's see who you're offering this to, Gemini. Or vice versa, someone wants to offer this to you. Okay. Page of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the Emperor. Could be an Aries or someone with very um, strong qualities, very uh, set in their ways towards Aries. Nice. But you want to offer something, or they, or someone else could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus wants to offer you something stable, but they're waiting. Um. When they offer you this, it's going to be very stable. So they, they want to make sure that it's going to work. It's going to last. They want to make sure it's right. You know, there's so much waiting and making sure with that seven of pentacles and that knight of pentacles. The empress. Some, are, some of you are like the empress, creating the environment, the life. That you want Ace of Cups. Wow, nice. Some of you are with child, giving birth, or found out about a pregnancy. Either you are pregnant or someone around you. Some of you are having a new love with someone who is like the Empress. Someone's having new love with you. The Fool. Wow, nice. Okay. Way too many cards that fell out. Okay, we're back, Gemini. Yeah, okay, so we've got the Emperor's Ace of Cups and the Fool. Someone wants to really take a leap of faith in the direction of love or whatever fulfills them on an emotional level. King of Cups toward a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or vice versa. Someone views you in this manner. The sun, nice, and it's blessed. It's positivity here. It's love. It's light. With the sun. The seven of pentacles. Someone's waiting again. Ace of pentacles to offer this. Waiting for truth and clarity with the ace of swords. Four of cups. Not knowing if their offer will be accepted. Knight of so Nine of swords. Having some mental anguish about offering this, but Ten of Cups, but knowing that this will make them very happy. The Tower looks like the universe comes in and uh, shifts the energy for you. Get the Queen of Cups here also, and the in the King. This could be a relationship. It could be a shift and change in relationship. Someone is not sure about the connection, about the engagement, about the relationship. The long-standing relationship with you, Gemini, or vice versa. Some truth will come out. 
someone's not taken to the offer. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. for my Geminis. What's going on with my Geminis? What's going on with my Geminis? The stars. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius directly, or you could just be going through healing, restoration, healing from the past. The devil. Wow. That's some really counter energy. Uh, talks about addiction, codependency, toxicity, karmic cycle, judgment. Wow. Majors. You need to make a decision about... Uh, a karmic cycle that you're going through knight of wands could be with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo or it looks like this fire sign is rushing yeah the fight it could be with a fire sign could be with a capricorn directly um gemini that you need to make a judgment call on four of swords you could be taking a break Engaging in rest and meditation so that you can hear from spirit as to what to do. Ace of Cups. If you want to have a new start in love, Four of Wands, a relationship. Uh, a relationship with the Four of Wands, Five of Cups. Okay, so... Someone's grieving the past, but wanting new love in a relationship with someone new. Nine of Swords, once again. Mental anguish, not sure, not clear. Six of Pentacles, King of Wands. These cards. Right, Gemini. So it looks like with a King of Wands, you need, you want or need reciprocity, equality. You feel like someone, either you or someone else, is doing a lot of work. Uh, some of you dealing with another air sign, Aquarius in particular. There's a lot of back and forth. Take a break. We're back on. I want the relationship. I want new love. But I'm also having anxiety about it. The fool is here. Some of you could be dealing with Aries. You're needing to take the leap of faith. Queen of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. And for some of you, it's a water sign. You need to put in the work. Yeah, a Six of Cups, a water sign from your past. You need to put in the work with the water sign. With the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer in particular. Because the message of love or the message of stability is here for you. I'm going to do one more sign. I think we got all elements, air, water, and earth. One more spread. Quick Celtic cross. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn directly with the devil here. Queen of Pentacles. Yep. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Three of Pentacles. Justice. Two of Cups in the past, the Magician in the near future, Six of Swords in your power, Ace of Pentacles external to you, Eight of Pentacles, Hopes and Fears, Outcome is the Ten of Swords. All right, so not such a good outcome. Ten of Swords is here. In the recent past, there was a love connection. There is a love connection. Some of you are dealing with the Capricorn directly or a toxic situation. Uh, that might be third party. I won't say that off bat, but you might be wanting to partner with this person. But in your in your present is justice, 
uh, what was wrong in the past will be righted near future the magician you have the power to move forward you have the power to make this situation what you will six of wands what did i tell you victory is here for you if you move away from conflict drama chaos with the six of swords because what's external to you is the ace of pentacles what's the ace of pentacles who's over the ace of pentacles who's involved with the ace of pentacles the page of pentacles wow definitely um capricorn virgo taurus energy five of swords but there's a lot of indecision lots of change here what's the ten of swords the outcome is the ten of swords Betrayal, being blindsided, backed into a corner, heartbreak, heartache, separation. Wow. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. This could mean that there is betrayal in a home situation. Seven of Pentacles. In a home situation that once was loving. You're waiting for change with the Ace of Swords here and the Seven of Pentacles. Four of Swords. And you're just taking a rest, a break from all of the mental anguish ten of pentacles three tens there's stability here there's love here but there's also heartbreak i'm hearing the question what do you want what are you going to make it uh knight of cups right someone's offering love at the bottom of the deck King of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Um, yes, this person betrayed you in the past. You can make this what you will. What do you want it to be? Justice is here saying that, it, it, you know, things can turn out better for you. With the Page of Wands, there could be a call to action eventually. What's external to you is someone wanting to give you partnership. Uh, stability and love page of pentacles ace of pentacles are you going to let the treachery hmm the betrayal of the past govern how you deal with this person now are you going to move forward with this person in love and truth and clarity if you are not going to let go of the past the betrayal of the past, then I'm here and let it go. Because it'll it'll be like a merry-go-round. You're just going around in circles. Alright, what's the energy for Gemini for Feb mid-February going into March, early March? Take the next step now. That makes sense. A lot of you wanted to offer, want to offer something stable to someone. Could be another air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You had Aquarius on the board. Changing your mind. Changing your mind. And then welcome the new. Okay, so there is a lot of newness. You had a lot of aces, particularly the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands. Uh, welcome the new, whatever the new is. Um, new job, new home, new lover. Changing your mind. Take the next step now. If uh, someone is who you want, Go and get them before somebody else gets them. Clearly, you think that they are a catch. Self-care. Care for yourself, too. Some of you have been doing so much, has, have been saving so much, have been investing so much in other, in, in other people, in other things. Care for yourself. Self-care. So if this message resonated with you the slightest bit and you want to expound on the energy, all of my information is below. Email um pricing where you can find me you can find me on instago if you have a question follow me there the handles are below choose to fund the page uh, by clicking the gofundme link follow me on instagram my handles are there also just below uh remember gemini when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well i'll see you in march okay take care